Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rabbit Hutch Sews. Today we are going to be talking about grading a top pattern. Grading is important to get a good fit for your body. We are all different sizes and we're often all not the same size. So like when you go to the store and buy a shirt, it may fit great, great in your bust and then it's either too tight or too loose in the hips and or too tight or too loose in the waist. Um, that's because we're all not one standard size. So being able to grade your top is a great skill to have to be able to get garments that fit you perfectly. I'm going to be walking through how I measure and select my size, how I grade my pattern pieces, and how I cut my fabric out. And hopefully this will help you get an awesome fit on your tops too. Alright, the first thing we want to do is measure ourselves accurately so that we can pick our size correctly off the size chart and have a top that fits us perfectly. We will be doing a few different measurements. Most patterns will go by your upper bust or your bust as a lead measurement, and then you would grade in or out for your waist and in or out for your hips. Another important measurement we're gonna take is our side waist length. That is the measurement from our armpit to our natural waist. And that's gonna tell us whether we need to add length or shorten our top at all. So you'll wanna grab a measuring tape and a pencil to paper to jot your numbers down. First thing we're going to do is start with our upper bust and that goes across your back over the top of your bust. You want it snug not super tight. So I have about 36 inches for my upper bust and I would take and I would write that down and then we want to go on to our bust next. Same thing. Going to go around the back and then across the fullest part Oops, across the fullest part of your bust. Okay, and then once you have that number, mine's about 37, you would write that down. Next is our waist. So the natural waist is if you did I'm a little teapot and you bent over, it's going to be that crease right there. So you want to measure around your natural waist. Okay, and write that down. And then same thing for your hips, that is going to be across the fullest part of your bottom. And then around the front. And again, we'll write that down. And then for our natural waist, or, sorry, excuse me, our side waist length, you measure from your armpit to your natural waist. So I'm going to put the tape in the armpit and then down to where I have that natural bend. And again, I'm a little over eight inches. So once you have these measurements, we can take a look at our size chart and pick our sizes. All right, so I went and I got the size chart here on my phone. So you're gonna look at the size chart and look for your measurement. Now most um, designers, the number on the chart is the largest number for that size. So if you're a little bit over a number, then you're gonna go with the bigger size. So for this top, I look, my upper bust was 36 inches. So I would be a size eight. My uh, bust was 37 inches. So again, that falls into size eight. My waist was 32 inches. So that means I fall at a size 10 for my waist. And then my hips are 40 inches. That puts me in an eight for my hips. So for my personal shape right now, I grade from an eight upper bust and bust out to a 10 waist and back to an eight hip. And again, I have an average side length, so I do not add or take away length from the pattern. If your um, side waist is longer, then you're going to want to add at the add and shorten line to your pattern. So if your side waist is nine inches, you'll want to add an inch at the shorten length and line. And if it was seven inches, you would take away an inch. And I will briefly show that as well, even though I do not make that measurement, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so once you have decided which size you need and selected those on the pattern, you're gonna print out your pattern and then we will be ready to grade and cut it out. All right, so for the grading and cutting out of our pattern, you're gonna need your pattern. You're gonna need something to mark with so that you can draw the new lines for your size. I like to have a quilting ruler. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to go from size to size. Um, you, don't, you could freehand it if you wanted or some sort of straight edge works great. 
and then you'll need a pair of scissors to cut out when we're done. So I opted for this one to print up my old size just because it was a little bit different. Right now I'm just between two sizes. I used to be between three sizes and they were quite a bit, quite a bit different. Um, so I just wanted to show you what it would look like if your sizes are quite different because that is pretty common because we are not all the same size. So I'm going to show you on this and then when I show you on cutting out the fabric I'm going to show you how I use my projector and then you'll see how I grade for my size there. So we have, um, I printed up a 14, 18, 22 um, and I would be upper bust and bust of 14 and then I would grade out to a 22 waist and back to an 18 hip. Um, briefly before I show you on mine if you need to lengthen or shorten there is a line here. So if you see the waist is marked right here and you can measure it and see and it's eight inches. So if you are longer or shorter than that you're going to want to add or shorten here so that your waist hits at the waist on your body. So you would simply cut out right that length and shorten line if you needed to lengthen it an inch, you would just split it apart an inch and then you could tape it to it. I always taped them to a new piece of paper and then you would grade your size accordingly. If you need to shorten an inch, you overlap them an inch. And again, you would just smooth out the edge as you're grading. So this is the line that you do that. So that way your waist of the shirt hits at your waist. Okay, so we have Size 14 is where my bust was. And then we have our waist marked. So you wanna be at your waist size by the time you get to your waist point. So this is why I like to use my ruler because I would make some pretty straight lines and then smooth out as I cut. So I'm going from a 14 to an 18, or sorry, 14 to a 22 and then I would find the 18 at my hip and draw the line from there to there. And this is what most of my tops would look like. They would look pretty straight or sometimes flared out depending on the fit of the pattern. So you can see now because I'm a 14 upper bust, I'm going to cut out the 14 neck and shoulder and then if, uh, if we had a waistband, you would cut, say I'm 18 waist, if there was a band, you would cut correspondingly the size 18 band. Because your upper bust and bust, mine are 14, I'm going to cut out, here you can see the neckband piece, I'm going to cut out the size 14 neckband, because this is going to be a size 14, and same thing for the armband. I'm cutting out the size 14 armband piece, because the arm size is a size 14. So you would do this exact same thing to the back piece, um, grading from your sizes in or out. And then on this pattern, you can choose straight hem or curved hem. So you would cut out whatever one that you plan on doing. And that is how you grade your top. Okay. And then once you have your new line for your shape cut in, you would just go ahead and take your scissors and cut again, you would cut along the neck and arm for your bust. So I would cut a 14 here, and then I would cut along this line that I made, and then along the hem that I chose. All right, so I use a projector to cut out my sewing pattern. So I have a projector up here above my sewing table, and it projects right onto my fabric so that I don't have to um, print out a pattern and cut it out. So I have, you see right here, a pattern. I have the front bodice here. It says cut one unfold. So we're gonna take the fold of our fabric. So I have my fabric folded in half and I have that piece center front against the fold. And now I'm gonna go ahead and trace my piece before I cut it. I'm gonna show you how I grade. Remember I'm an eight bust and I grade out to a 10 waist and then back to the eight hip and I'm going to do the straight hem option for mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace 
the size 8 for my neck and arm. Okay, now I have an 8 bust, so I'm going to go in and then out to that 8 waist and then back into the t or, I'm sorry, out to the 10 waist, back into the 8 hip, and I'm going to do the straight hem. Okay, so you can see, let me grab my leg here. Alright, so you can see my pattern piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that out, and then you will do the same thing for your back piece, and then I will also show you how we cut out our bands. Okay, so you can see I have our armband and our neckband piece here. Again, it's labeled on the fold, so you will want to cut to whatever size your bust and upper bust were. So I'm going to cut the eight. So I'm going to cut, draw and cut two armbands and one neckband. So you'll just go ahead and trace. Go to your upper bust size, and then you'll want two of those. So I'm going to slide my fabric over so they can have the same color. Okay, and then you will cut those out and do the same thing for your neck. Band. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions, I will be happy to try to help. Just leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I would love a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much.